Playwright 151 is out and for the people that use LLMs and AI for their Playwright scripting, it comes with a real treat, copy as prompt. Now, whenever your Playwright tests fail and you inspect the reason, the HTML report, the trace viewer, and even your eye mode include a new copy prompt button that allows you to copy a pre-filled LLM prompt that contains all the context of your failing test case. Does that mean that AI will now fix and resolve all your Playwright errors? Let's find out. We are here in VS Code and I've prepared three very simple test cases that we will now break on purpose to find out if GitHub Copilot can fix these tests with an extended LLM prompt. All the test cases navigate to slash which uses the base URL that I defined in my Playwright config. So the tests are testing localhost 3000 and I have the Playwright docs running locally there. I also started UI mode already. So here we have the three test cases and when we run them, we see some nice green check marks. Let's break some tests. The first test case does a quick and easy title check on the HTML document that we loaded. So in this case, Playwright should be included in the title. Let's add a typo here and inspect the new Playwright LLM prompt. When we now rerun this test case, we will see a failing test case. And when we then check here the errors panel, here we go. Here we have the new copy prompt button. Let's click it and see what this new prompt looks like. We could now paste it into a text file first, but I found that it is easier to just paste everything here into Copilot and then see what we get because we have some nice formatting here. The provided LLM prompt first includes some instructions telling that the following Playwright test failed, that the LLM should explain why, be a concise and respect Playwright best practices. And if possible, it should provide a snippet of code to fix this failing test case. The instructions are then followed by some test information. So the name of the failed test case and where this test case is located on my machine. Then we have the error details. So here we have the failed assertion to have title, the expected pattern. So playwright with our typo five Ys and the actual title here. So it was actually faster, reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps, playwright. Then we have an entire page snapshot of the page when this assertion failed. So this includes pretty much everything included in the accessibility tree on the page. And then we have here the test source. This is our spec file with an inlined error here. So this assertion failed after 5,000 milliseconds. And overall, this is a lot. And I don't know about you, but I usually don't provide so much information when I talk to my favorite LLM. But let's see what Copilot using Claude 3.5 Sonnet has to say about this. All right, the test is failing because the expected title pattern doesn't match. Here we have the solution. So fixing our typo, we can apply this here right now. And this looks pretty much good to me. So we could now apply that, wait for it. Here we go. And that looks good to me. Let's move on to the second test case. Here we have the test get started link that clicks the button that is on the home page, and then it expects the heading installation to be visible. Let's say we make a mistake in our test case and remove the button click. What's happening now? When we run the test case, it will fail because we will not click this getting started link and we will not end up on a page that includes the heading that we expect. But let's find out if Playwright's extended LLM prompt will help us out here. Let's first clear the current session here to start fresh. And now we can paste all the stuff that Playwright provides to us Copilot for a possible solution. Here is the entire test context. Here we have our error. So let's see what Copilot thinks. The test is failing because it's looking for a heading with text installation, but based on the page snapshot, this heading doesn't exist on the home page. Looking at the page content, there appears to be a get started link. All right. So it's basically adding back the click that we just removed. And I think that should work. So let's apply this. All right, here we go. And you might now say, wow, magic. But let me tell you, first of all, these test cases, these two test cases are part of the Playwright boilerplate. So it might be that there are in the data set that actually the LLM was trained on. And these examples were pretty straightforward. Let's look at something more custom. This third test case also navigates to slash and then clicks the community link. And then it checks for the heading 
that is named ambassadors to be visible on the page. But let me bring in a twist. We're here in the code base that I have running locally, the Playwright Docs. And what if I break the Playwright Docs and the test is actually correct? What happens then? Let's run the test. So here we have the community link test. And when we check here the snapshot, the community link that used to be here in the top nav isn't there anymore. All right, so this is now erroring out. Here we go. So the link with the community couldn't be found. Let's copy the prompt and see what Copilot does with this information. Let's clear our previous conversation. So clear, paste everything, and let's see what happens now. The test is failing because there's no direct community link in the main navigation. That's correct. Looking at the page, a snapshot community appears to be in the footer section and ambassadors is under the more section. So the assumption here is correct, but the fix is basically doing something entirely else. But let's see if this will make our test work again. Here we go. All right, let's apply this and let's see. We can now run our test again. So let's find out what's happening. And here we have a strict mode violation because there are two headings on the page that match the name ambassadors. And why is that happening now? And the test was working beforehand. When we look closely, after clicking the footer link, we end up on community slash ambassadors. This is a completely different page because the initial community link was going to community slash welcome. So the fix for our playwright test case changed the behavior. And we could now feed this error into the LLM again, but we just changed what we actually wanted to test. Let me show you another example. What if instead of hiding this community link, we will bring in a human error and write community with three M's. Let's go back to our initial test case and let's revert our AI fix here. So we had click link community and then we expect a heading ambassadors to be visible. Here we go. And when we now run it, of course, we still expect a failing test case because when we look at it, we have here our community with three M's, but let's see what Copilot makes with all this test information. Again, let's clear the current chat, paste the extended LLM prompt coming from the Playwright UI mode or the Playwright test report. And let's see what we get. Here we go. The test is failing because it's looking for a link with the exact text community. But according to the page snapshot, the link text is actually community with three M's. <laughs> well discovered. This appears to be a typo in the website's HTML. All right, so far so good. So what's the fix? Here we have the updated snippet and the LLM, the AI wants to change our locator from community with 2M to community with 3Ms. The change is simply updating the link text from community to community in the selector. I'm not sure if that's a good approach here. Let's see if we can challenge this. Are you sure that I should Test for community with three M's. Let's see. Looking at this more carefully, I should revise my suggestion. All right, bring it on. From the page snapshot, I noticed there appeared two different community related elements community section in the footer, community link in the main nav. All right. So it wants to apply some regex stuff here, but I doubt this one will work. Either way, I think you get the point. The AI now recognized that there is a typo on the website, but overconfidently told us to change our locator to also include the typo or kind of go down a rabbit hole to change everything and maybe use some regular expressions. But I doubt that this will work here. I don't know if we would have gotten better results if the prompt wouldn't include provide a snippet of code with a fix if possible. Maybe there's some prompt engineering that we could apply, or maybe the result would have been a different one when we would have included the application code, including the typo in this chat conversation here too. There are many ifs and I didn't test them all, but I think it is clear that we cannot just paste a prompt into an LLM and expect that it will magically fix all our end-to-end -end tests in the correct way. Still, I do think that the new copy prompt button is a valuable addition to UI mode and the test report, especially when you're new to Playwright and you're maybe struggling with the syntax or the common Playwright errors. Using an LLM can be of big help and providing more context will definitely give you better results than just pasting in the error. 
But whatever you get as an answer, be sure to be skeptical and don't let the AI create a passing test suite for a broken application. And that's all I have for you today. You know the drill. If you have any comments or questions or AI tips, drop them below. And I will see you in the next video talking about synthetic monitoring, Playwright, and Checkly here on YouTube. I will see you soon.